a big congratulations to Rubius on joining the Icon series, and a big thank you to Epic Games for the early access. Rubius releases tomorrow, September 25th, at Item Shop Reset. As always, first things first, this is the Lego for Rubius. In Battle Royale, the outfit and pickaxe are sold together at 1500 V-Bucks. The edit styles include the original, the Mad Cat style, glasses off, glasses on, hair brown, hair white, and then the effects on or off. I'm assuming the effects are simply the glow within his forearm here that has the glyphs on there and this glow within um, like the handkerchief ribbon. Now with the effects off, you can see that glow is no longer there. And I believe the forearm doesn't like really pulse or have any effects as well. Again, the outfit and pickaxe are sold together at 1500 V-Bucks. Looks like we're gonna have some decent animations here within the harvesting tool. Now, the tool visually unequips from the back bling, but the back bling is sold separate at 1000 V-Bucks. It is reactive to eliminations. The actual, I'm assuming the cat's name is Wilson, will, I believe, meow when you get an elim, just like that. I believe that's what's gonna happen. At 300 V-Bucks, we have the ASMR keys emote. Now, I was also gifted two sprays and two emoticons. I was not told within the email from Epic Games if these are included in the bundle when it releases tomorrow. This is the spray. This is the glyphs one here. Now I have this emote. And I also have the Limonada emote. I don't know if these are included within the bundle. I was only told about the emote, not the emoticons or the sprays. The reactive and animated wrap comes in at 500 V-Bucks. It is reactive to the time of day. At nighttime, it will display the glyphs on the weapon wrap. I do have a picture of that here. I'm not sure if it's going to work in my creative map, but to my knowledge, the glyphs will appear at night. Now, everything I just showed you, not to include the sprays or emoticons, comes in at a bundle price for 2,400 V-Bucks. I think it's cool that he incorporated his cat into his cosmetics because I always thought if I were ever some random shot that I ever had an icon skin will never happen, by the way. I thought like, would I want my dogs included? Um, you know, like chickens, lawn care. I have no idea, but the cat is pretty cool. Equip and equip. Nice sounds, nice streaks to the shadow box. Yeah, no problems with the harvesting tool here. Of course, it visually unequips from the back bling. And I, I understand there's a lot of edit style options for the outfit, but it seems like the pickaxe should have been paired with the back bling, not the pickaxe paired with the skin because it visually unequips. It's kind of interesting. Now, from my testing, there are quite a bit of sounds that trigger the back bling upon elims. So I'm gonna do a few for you here, starting with the pickaxe. And a few more. So to my knowledge, the back bling has at least five different sounds that Wilson actually creates upon Elims. ADS is no problem here. Now my device will actually showcase the glyphs on the weapon wrap here. So of course during the day and now at night, you can see the glyphs did appear on the weapon wrap there. Not reactive to each shot here, but simply the time of day, they should disappear here. We'll show you it on a larger scale as well as we usually do. No glyphs. Change the time of day and we should have glyphs on the wrap there. The wrap on the sure style cosmetics. And now at night, the glyphs appear. I thought they were going to appear north to south, not east to west. Very interesting on a larger scale here. The emote ASMR keys. This is glasses on and the white hair edit style. Um, 
Unfortunately, because of the hairstyle, you can't even tell the glasses are on. Maybe if you do the emote here, you'll be able to tell. You can tell with the emote, but while using the outfit here, you cannot tell that the glasses are even on. All I did now was take off the effects, which I believe affects the glyphs on his forearm there, and then the extra fabric on his bandana. So now we know. One last thing I'm gonna test here is the back bling while gliding. Looks like Wilson is just chilling, either when I'm skydiving straight down. I just wanted to test if Wilson did anything while in the air. So now we know, reactive to Elims. A lot of different sounds here, and I think it is, I would assume, the most meaningful part of the entire set for Rubius here, if I had to guess. Without the back bling, a lot more physics from that fabric, from the bandana, handkerchief, whatever you want to call it. So that is nice than alias without the back bling here. This is what you get. With the Mad Cat style, the glasses on or off are not going to affect anything. The same thing with the hair color, but the effects will change what you're seeing right now. This is with the effects on, obviously, and then if we turn the effects off, you won't have any of that animation on anything we just had it on. This is the Mad Cat style with the effects on during the day, obviously here. I'm gonna go on a, on a loom here and say, I actually like the original version. Um, it seems like with icon skins, there's like a normal version, like normal clothing, and then it's like some very interesting, different, complete edit style version as well. I guess that's to make it a little bit more eye-catching and exciting, um, but obviously this pertains to what I believe is a cat head, and then the effects here at night look pretty good. We have the glyphs on the wrap as well. Um, everything looks good together here with this additional edit style. Without the back bling here, no effects on, by the way. This is what you get. Back blings include Ice Kitsune, what it came with, Wilson. His birthday is in February, appropriate birthstone for that. Now, this is more of a test to show you that with capes equipped, you still have the long fabric from the bandana there. Keep that in mind. Cubic Vortex will look pretty cool with the wrap. Um, we have a ball of yarn for obvious reasons with Wilson. Void Heart will look cool with the wrap. Tower of Power, Streamer, Content Creator. Storm Strummer goes great with the blue. Same with Spectral Spine. I also like Silencer. And then we have one of the emoticons for the hollow back here. And then I can also show you the Limonada. Is that what it was called? Limonada one as well. Cotton 4K, apparently. I don't... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> With Wilson, we put it on Ninja because they both are wearing headbands. Obviously what it came with here. We have it on Doggo for dogs and cats. Um, I'm just saying, pretty funny. Lynx, cat on cat, I think it's pretty cool. Meow Skulls, same thing here. Kind of obvious why I chose that. We do have some different color options here. If you want to match, I guess the, the fur of Wilson or the pillow they're laying on, you have some options there. Probably just do the original personally. And then we have Meow Souls for obvious reasons. Backlings with the Mad Cat style with the effects on. Wilson, kinetic cards looks cool. Airflow vibes, I like that as well. Bat Royale, a little interesting here. It's not a cat, it's a bat, but it is what it is. Burst Stone, once again, looks great on this headed style. Black Hole, something simple, but the effects are nice. Void Heart, once again. The Dreamsy handbag looks great, especially with the ears. Cubic Vortex, once again. This is cool. Is the blue a little too much? Mm, maybe? It's a little... It's close. I'll say the blue is very close. Same thing with the Boombox 3000. And then lastly, the blue glow back blink. Congrats once again to Rubius on joining the Icon series. Liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.